You know, every few months, our next guest loads a van with dangerous chemicals and that he brought on Craigslist and drives them to us here. He is a third and fourth grade science teacher, and his acclaimed book series for kids is called Nick and Tesla's Secret Agent Gadget Battle. Please welcome Science Bob Flugfelder. Hello, Science Bob. Welcome. It's good to have you here. Congratulations on the new book. Thank you. Very exciting. This is your third book, I know. They've yeah. been well received. And, yeah. But what you do to get kids interested in science is you come up with these kind of spectacular yeah, demonstrations. Yeah, we got to get their attention, and so that's what we're working And on. since I have the brain of a child, <laughs> now you can get <laughs> my a, attention. I got the too. attention of an eight year old, too, so okay, it's all good. good. All right. Uh, so I thought I figured, because we got a little uh, maker demonstration here, kind okay. of in a way. Uh, come on over here. We're going right. to get uh, geared up here. I'll put this um, here. We've got our old friend liquid nitrogen. Oh, yes. And uh, nitrogen. You go through a lot of liquid <laughs> nitrogen, don't you? We do. Uh, when we take a breath, 80% of what we breathe in is actually nitrogen. Not me. And so. Uh, <laughs> so, so I breathe oxygen, Bob. When they, only 20%. I think. So when they, uh, when they compress that, it loses a lot of energy, it gets very cold. Uh, 196 degrees below zero centigrade, um, 300, uh, uh, no, now I'm 321 below zero Fahrenheit. Right, I was going to oh, correct those you on mine. that. Those yeah. Are, yeah, those, I'm wearing some. All right, so I'll show you what we're going to do. We've got our liquid nitrogen here. Uh -huh. We've got a vessel to put that in. Okay. And we'll fill that, and then I'll show you what we're going to do with it. Are you uh, okay handling that? Yeah, what should I do? Just lift uh, it up? We're going to put it into this vessel. You'll lift it up and pour it into here. Okay. And, I like uh, that you use words like vessel. Yeah, it's kind of cool. And what's right kind of, yeah. The whole thing? Uh, yeah, just uh, kind of slowly there. There you go. What's right. kind of interesting about liquid nitrogen is when it turns into a gas, it's got a very high uh, liquid to gas uh, expansion ratio, which basically means it takes up a lot more room. So uh, like 700 times greater. I Keep feel going. Like we ran good. out of fuel on the road now, and we're trying to get the car started. <laughs> See, most of it's that you're pouring in there is actually vaporizing, so it's actually not all that full just yet. But keep going, you're good, you're good. And uh, that's great. Okay. All right. All right. So Can now, I pour some on the floor and see what happens? It's kind of cool, actually. All right. There you go. Wow. <laughs> wow, that is great. <laughs> kind of fun. <laughs> wow. Look at that. All right. It's okay. so called the Leyden frost effect. It just allows it to skitter across there. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, we've got this in here, and it's now vaporizing at kind of a slow rate. Mm -hmm. Then we have this assembly here. This is uh, 30 hardy horns that, of course, need uh, pressurized air, usually from people, right. to sound. But instead of pressurized air from us, we're going to use liquid nitrogen. OK. Oh, good. All right. all right. So if all goes well, this will be the first liquid nitrogen-powered horn section. All right, so we're going uh, to kind this of... This would be great as like an alarm clock at home. Yeah, well, let's, yeah. It, it, uh, to heat it up and to get it going faster, we've got some hot water here. Okay. So that, will, uh, that will have the gas going here. We'll build up pressure, and we should be able to hear these horns. Should down. I do it? Or... So, yeah, if you would lift that up, and okay. that will get the, uh, the, the water, water going water in there. Hot the water nitrogen. going there. And... <laughs> now, you can actually control... Much of it goes. Can, can that. Oh, wow. It's fun. It sounds like a thousand tortured souls are going to hell. <laughs> wow, you yeah. invented something more annoying than the Vuvuzela. <laughs> All right, we don't need these anymore. We can replace the band with something like this. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Wow, look at that. It's still that's going. Good. Yeah, that's... Uh, all right, so come on over here. We got OK, I'll come over here. here. You don't need the gloves anymore. You're all right. Free yourself. Very good. All right, so uh, do you recognize this guy? Yeah, that is a, I don't know, a Barbie hoverboard? It is, uh, yeah, so this is a uh, replica of the hoverboard used in the second Back to the Future movie. Right, OK. So they actually go to 2015. And that's where we have flying cars and hoverboards. So I can't got, wait. Yeah, we've only got a year left. Uh, so unfortunately, we're actually very far from uh, any kind of actual yeah. hoverboard like the movie. All right. But I, what I thought was intriguing um, was that they kind of made these look like magnets. OK. And I guess uh, based on the idea of what we know about magnets is they have opposite poles. And if you put light poles together, um, you get this sort of hovering effect. Okay. And so you can drop that down. And so I think that's kind of what they had in mind. All right. Um, and I realized that there are some very big and some very strong magnets. 
And it got me thinking, and on a whim, we said, well, can you actually levitate something with any kind of strong magnet? So uh, we gave it a try, and let me show you what yeah, we Yeah, let's here. see it, yeah. So this is a magnetically <laughs> levitating board here. So let me explain. We've got eight super strong three-inch uh, neodymium magnets. Okay. We've got four on the bottom, and then we have four built into the board. And it's the only thing holding this up. Now, you see the cables. Yeah. The cables are to actually keep it from flipping over. Oh, because They're the not holding would... any weight. Uh, otherwise, it would flip over with a crushing force of about 130 pounds. OK. And you need a. And uh, I should get on top of this uh, and fly. It, it should theoretically hold you up. All right. Oh, great. Theoretically, huh? How much weight would this hold? Uh, uh, over probably close to 150 pounds. Oh, well, I weigh pounds. 180 pounds, so. Oh, there, well. There, oh, look, look at that. It's look at that. Holding you me. are not touching the ground. It's very I am hard. So, unfortunately, it's still. We haven't gotten a way to get it to go yet, so we just put this on wheels, and we thought we'd give you the sensation, maybe, of being one of the first magnetic wow. overboarders. This is exciting. There it's like being on a dolly. <laughs> Here you go, Guillermo. <laughs> Thank you, Guillermo. Ready? Yeah. Let me see if I can get this. No, this is not exactly Marty McFly type material nah, here. Yeah. But, um, all right, well, that That's was uh, cool. disappointing. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll yeah. get there. Yeah, come back in 2015 yeah, when we'll it's really back. when it goes. All right, what is this? All right, would you like to do a little chemistry today? Yes, a little chemistry, yes. All right, we have got uh, what might be... Are we going to smoke out of this? No, no, no. <laughs> Guillermo, yeah. grab the nitrous grab oxide. <laughs> All right, well, ironically, uh, it turns out that this gigantic flask is actually filled with nitrous oxide. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, perfect. So um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a little reaction I call the Howler reaction. Okay. Um, and Why are these gloves black? Is this like when you kill somebody, you wear these? They're more scientific looking, we thought. <laughs> okay. um, so uh, here's what we're going to do. Uh, actually, I'm going to come around over here and take this test tube out. OK. And, Where do uh, you get a test tube like that? Uh, I, we actually had this custom made from a scientific uh, glass company. Wow. And it's pretty impressive. Yeah. Uh, if you don't mind holding that, okay. and you're going to uh, tilt it towards me. OK. And I've got, so this is filled uh, entirely with, um, with uh, nitrous oxide, so the oh. same stuff they use in cars and at the dentist. It's liquid at the bottom? Is that the nitrous oxide? So that's oxide? just, yeah, that's water, actually. Oh, this is the stuff from the dentist? Yeah. This awesome. Is, uh, <laughs> don't get any ideas. All right, uh, hold that there for a second. I, <laughs> got, uh, I've got a chemical called carbon disulfate here. Of course you do. This is a very volatile, flammable chemical. And I'm going to. When does Guillermo bend over? Do we do? <laughs> oh, boy, it does not smell good. No, that doesn't smell good. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not a pleasant smell at all. Yeah. I like walking the dog yeah. a little bit. All right, so now I've got to mix this up a little bit. So I am going to tip it over. And what's happening now is that's mixing with the water inside. And we're trying to spread the carbon disulfide out. And it will vaporize, become a vapor. OK. And that will spread it out. And then what we're going to do. So we're going to put it back in its holder here. OK. Yeah, I got it. Can I help you with that? Well, I'm going to have you. I just need to I vent feel very it useless, first. I have to say. Uh, yeah. We're going to put you to work. Yeah, don't worry. OK. Uh, so we have to vent it, because it's built up some gas here. There we go. Should I light this thing on fire? Yes. OK. All right. And then I'm going to put it back in here. I'm going to give you a countdown. All right. Like a three, two, one. OK. And I'm going to take the top off. And then you are going to ignite that with the push button. And what's going to happen is what we uh, kind of a diesel reaction. The flame is going to go. It's going to go down kind of quickly. And then it's going to compress the air. That's going to cause more heat. And that's going to make a combustion. It happens fast. It's loud. If you don't like loud sounds, you might want to cover your ears. Are we ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> wow, that was, that was loud and scary. <laughs> Let's see that again, can we? Wow, it's like a lightsaber. It's a very short-term use lightsaber. Well, thank you very thank much, you. Science Bob. Science Bob, Nick and Tesla's Secret Agent Gadget Battle comes out Tuesday. And go to sciencebob.com for all this information. We'll be right back with Boy George.